thought I'd give a little update on our vineyard this year. Walking in here from the beginning of the vineyard, you can see overall things are looking pretty good. A lot more growth than we've had in the last couple years. Most of the vines are up to the second or third wire. Walking down one of the typical rows here, looking at this one here, you can see on the vines on the left are my Viognier. They're the ones that are having a little more trouble. They've had trouble with the drought. The ones on the right are the Syrah. Very big this year, plus great color. You can see some of the clusters are starting to come on. Good large size clusters. Both the Syrah and the Viognier have good size clusters this year. The Viognier is actually starting to bloom. We've got a few dead vines here and there, eight altogether in the vineyard. More Viognier than Syrah. But even the Syrah is starting to get some nice clusters. Good sizes too throughout the vines. And I would also say that the colors of the leaves are looking really good this year. Better than they have in the past. I think we can thank our soil amendment. We put in two large truckloads of compost and that's really helped things come along. Uh, middle of the vineyard you can see not quite as tall. That's typical for us, this site. There's not as much water there. But I'm going to today fertilize all the vines that are not up to the third wire. And then some of the ones that are really big, like right here, it's going to be time to start topping them too. So that we can cut them back and encourage more lower growth. Again, you can look down some of the rows. You can see how good they're looking. I think we're going to have a pretty good crop this year. We're going to try to make um, a good amount of uh, Viognier, so we've got a lot of white wine this year. And most of the Syrah, I think I'm going to go ahead and turn it into Rosé again. Our Rosé has always come out better than our finished red wine, so I think that's probably the best use of our grapes from this area. Plus it'll give the ones that have been struggling a chance to really grow back. Here's another one of those struggling vines. You can see how big it is, but yet a lot of the ends of the arms have completely died off. So we'll be cutting some of those off again too later this year. And then we have some areas where we've got some nice new growth from old wood, which is encouraging too. But that's it. It's uh, April, end of April 2016. And this is an update from the Carbone Family Vineyard.